it's that time again. Five new joints. Four men, one woman. That's right. Five total. Five total. Four of them are men. One for my wife. So stay right there. After the intro, that's right. We're going to talk about it. Back to doing another video. Sam Broom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back and give another video. Listen up. I know it's been about two weeks. Alright. But I had some things going on. But I'm here. You know I ain't going nowhere. All right, but well, we're gonna talk about these five new joints. One of them is for my wife, the rest of them are all men's, okay? Before we talk about them though, you guys need to do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, okay? Y'all gotta do me that favor. Share the video. Share with your moms, your dad, your coworkers, friends, family, whoever. Share the video, okay? And most importantly, let those ads run. Now let's talk about these fragrances. First one from the house of Trasadi. Y'all know I like this this house, man. It ain't my favorite, but it's highly rated and highly up there. It's from the house of Trasadi. This is Scent of Gold. Scent of Gold, 2018 release. Okay, it's supposed to be similar, but not exact um, to uh, Tom Ford. Black Orchid, okay? Oh yeah, that's a nice bottle, man. If you've seen one Trasadi bottle, especially in the Umo line, you've seen them all. Very classy bottles, man. Nice metal cap to it, nice weight to it. Got that nice color scheme too. Like the Tampa Bay colors right there. Speaking of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'm not a fan, but I do respect all teams. I'm a Cowboy fan. Draft is tonight. I'm hoping to uh might be going live talking about these draft picks, man. Switch it up a little bit. Talk about some sports. Okay. Trasadi, scent of gold, might be on another channel though. Scent of gold. You got cinnamon, bergamot, pruneau, tobacco, violet, jasmine, labdomen, patchouli. And vanilla all right it's an atomizer nice distribution of juice there okay let's go two sprays it's like five sprays right there it's a nice it's a nice bubble already oh okay I'm digging this I'm digging it but if I have to be honest man The violet is prominent. It almost has like a plum note to it. It almost smells like it has like a plum. I don't get the tobacco or any of that, but violet, some type of fruit note, maybe a plum, a little, little bit of cinnamon, a little spices and some vanilla and labdomen. But this, I'm, I'm, again, if I have to be honest, smelling this fragrance, other than the violet and the sweet, the sweet tones, or the sweet notes that's involved in this, it's almost like it's a blend of a bunch of fragrance, of a, a bunch of notes. It doesn't have like no distinct um, characteristics about this fragrance. I mean, this, the, the, the characteristics about this fragrance when it comes to like the, the individual notes, you can't really pull out. It's almost, it's almost messy, to be honest. Almost messy. But in a good way, because the smell itself is great. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem like I could pull any of the notes out of this thing, other than the violet and probably the jasmine. The jasmine, too. But I like the way it smells. I don't think it smells like black orchid. 
I don't think it smells like that. I have to get my nose on that one again. But I don't think it smells like Tom Ford Black Orchid. This one smells a little bit more. So, <laughs> I'll say it this way. When I was a kid, my grandparents used to be like, go take the slop off to the dog, where it's a bunch of stuff that we that she cooked or my grandmother cooked. And now she's getting rid of, it's, it's down to the last little bit and nobody else wanted any food. So she put all of the stuff together and she take it out to the dogs. That mixture of all the ingredients, the, the rice, the gravy, the chicken bone, whatever, whatever she cooked for that day, all in one pot or gumbo. It's like a gumbo, but the slop is different because the slop is for the, for the animals. <laughs> Gumbo is a little bit better, better, present, uh, better representation of what this is. A bunch of notes mixed in a pot, and this is what you get. But it smells it smells really nice, to be honest. Now that I'm really smelling it more in the air, it's getting better as it goes. Man, I like, I, I like to say that's something that you would have to get used to. But again, I, I just can't pull each individual notes out of that thing. I'm not a really big note breakdown guy. You can go to Ross and all those other guys like that that's around this stuff for a living. Like there's 24 hours around this, you know. It's easy for them guys to really pull out those notes. Those guys got great noses, they can pull them out. Me, I'm your average Joe. No knock on my brother, Joey. But anyway, moving on. The next one from the house of Trasadi. This is Donna. This is for the ladies now. This is for the ladies. You get some fruit notes at top. You get some jasmine, some lily of the valley, some yuzu, some um, amafi lemon. Okay. You also getting um, a, did I say African orange flower? African orange flower is atomizer. Nice color scheme too on top of that. That white and gold. Man, that smells so damn good. I love the way this smell on my wife. This thing is amazing. This is this is for a lady, a true lady. And this is the EDP. This was released in 2011 and still going strong. Fruit notes, jasmine, yuzu, amafi lemon, vanilla, African um, orange flower, lotus, sandalwood, patchouli, and Virginia cedar. So it's got like a nice little woody. Now this here, very womanly. I'm not gonna say girly, womanly. This is for a woman. I'm telling you, the little kids wearing this thing right here. Okay, successful women, powerful women, women that has amazing class. I can see wearing this thing here. My wife loves it. This is her favorite. And when she put it on, man, I just love the way it smells. I'm telling you, man. I don't know what this is similar to, but it's very powdery, floral, a nice amount of sweetness. But if I have to say it, it just, again, classy as hell. Classy. Trasadi, Donna. If you're looking for something for your girl to wear for like, um, say for instance, formal events and things like that, upscale events, yo, this is everything you would need in that fragrance. Very classy. Upscale too. All right, let me put that over here. We're gonna move it on. We're gonna move it along. The next one, this one here, I caught this one at, um, Saks Fifth ad, that's their, their off brand. Off Saks Fifth or something like that. This is from the house of Victor and Roth. This is Spice Bomb Infrared. Now I know Infrared is coming out with, I think an EDP version of this or, um, yeah, EDP version. And I gotta say, I think that's gonna be ill. Um, Cause I did smell this before. I got a decant before from my boy JP. He sent me a decan of this and I did like it. So I was just waiting for the right time to get it. Cause you know, these Victor Raw fragrances, man, they don't go on sale often. So I caught this on sale. I think it was like 70 bucks. You know, I had a gift card from the family. So I was able to pick this up, man. Infrared, okay. You 
major notes you get in pimento cinnamon you get in tobacco red fruits pink pepper benzoin and saffron this atomizer not bad I like that I'm trying to put this thing on not drop the damn scent strip my made up scent strip because I didn't feel like going downstairs in the basement I just came right off work and I wanted to get this video out yeah this is nice god dang man there's nothing that's comparable to this I know some people are saying this smell almost smells like a um, the big red I think that's big red the big red gum or the red hot gum or whatever that is nah I don't get that though I'm definitely getting the spices I'm definitely getting the pimento the, the pink pepper I did get a nice little fruity vibe to it from that the red fruits and stuff but uh, the saffron and stuff the saffron is what I'm really getting out of it. I'm getting that saffron but that benzoin the, the, the true essence of the spice bomb line the cinnamon the tobacco the benzoin I'm getting all of that but it's that red fruit the cinnamon the saffron that's making this thing pop man this is a very nice fragrance not for now this is springtime even though this right now it's kind of cool outside the weather haven't been hot yet so you can still get away with this monitor your sprays this was released in 2021 right after they dropped um what is that uh spice bomb night vision edp dang I gotta get that EDT and night vision and then I can compare compare the whole line because I got all of them at that point the only one I don't have is the EDT this is good spice bomb infrared gotta move on next one from the house of JPG now I had this one for a little while I have to be honest I had this for a little while just was trying to find the right time to pop it out then you know you get busy with a lot of stuff and I got so much stuff I got to review and talk about I want to apologize to everybody that sent me things that's still on my counter I haven't done anything with them I just got them ready I had some things going on again trying to prepare for the sergeant test and all this other stuff did pass your boy passed so let's hope that I get that interview anyway from the house of GPG that's Jean Paul Gaultier this is Le Beau La Parfum now listen I purchased this last summer from a company overseas they took my money months go by they finally figured out that they never that they never had the product they reimbursed me my money i wind up finding this one online somewhere and i had to pick this up but again le beau la parfum intense edp intense let's go now i did do a first impression on the edt some months back sorry about the wrapper and of course y'all know these bot these these tin cans you got to open it from the bottom okay here we go love that love that style now this style here remind me of um essence and i love that i'm gonna keep this on the base let's go pull this off all right Okay, here we go. Not gonna waste too many sprays with this baby. Oh no. Ooh, that smells so tropical. Man, it's tropical. I don't know what. Oh yeah. Coconut and pineapple is what I smell. Coconut and pineapple. Oh, this is so nice. Rich. Mm, this is so nice. All right, let me give you some of the notes on this. You get pineapple, of course, coconut, tonka. You're getting some woody notes. 
you get some sandalwood, you get iris, amber, ambergris, cypress, and ginger. What can I say about this fragrance, man? What I can say is that this damn thing is amazing. Smell it. This is vacation. This is beach. It's just so rich, man. Now, I might, if it's super hot, I might prefer wearing the EDT over this one. This one is super rich, man. But damn, I love the way it smells. Again, I'm getting that coconut. The pineapple. I'm getting a little, that amber and that tonka. Nice sweetness involved in this. Oh, Lord, this is so ill. Should have got a bigger bottle. Should have got the 100 mil and just left it at that. But I'm happy with what I got. I think I got this off eBay. Man, that's nice. John Paul Gaultier. Now, I have quite a few John Paul Gaultiers. Last year, last summer, I was able to uh, get my hands on a few of the ones that been discontinued I guess but I like it a lot all right gotta move on lastly this is the fifth one in this hall okay fifth one in this hall from the house of Lali now this this fragrance everybody jump must have jumped on it at the same time when it came available from the house of Lali this is ombre noir a 2017 release I haven't cracked that baby open yet. Now, this is supposed to be getting some rem reminiscent or some similarities to something I already purchased too. And I caught that on a major deal. So, if this one smells anything like it or anything close, or if this smell, or if that smells like this, because I haven't gotten to that one yet, I'm gonna be super happy. Okay, it's by uh, Marbosen. Marbosen, and it's unhistorical. The Ohm Irresistible. That's what this is supposed to be smelling like. All right. This thing right here was hard to get, man. You had to wait a long time just to get it. It's here now. And again, everybody jumped on this around the same time. I guess everybody had the same idea. They had to get it. They had to get it. It's the box. All right. Let's open this baby up and get to it. Let's get to it. Juice color though. Damn. Love this box. I mean, this is the presentation. The bottle was so nice. Nice and heavy. The leak. Known for their glasses. Their glass making. Alright, but let's let's not sleep on their juice because their juice is dope. Okay, let's get this off. There we go. Plastic cap. But who cares? Let's get this atom, this aperture turned around the right way. Alright, the only thing I see that's wrong right now already. The aperture is the same color as the atomizer, which makes it a little bit harder to see. Okay, but I got it turned around the right way. Let's go give it a couple sprays. Nice distribution. Three sprays there. All right. Major notes in this thing. Cognac. So it's going to be boozy. Tobacco leaf. Cinnamon. Myrrh. Olibanum. Papayas. Cedar. Fig leaf. Tonka. Patchouli and bergamot. Oh my god. My lord. Let's go. Ooh, that bergamot or citrus top is strong. But right away I'm getting that. I'm getting a, a very nice Boozy from the from the cognac, that booze from the cognac, and that papayas. That's a really nice blend. The, the cognac and papayas making a very nice blend to this thing. Now the tobacco is starting to rear his head. It's got nice spices to it as well. Damn. So this is a very nice boozy. 
spicy tobacco with some sweetness coming from that tonka bean in the, in the Olabana. If I have to say it myself, this thing is different. It's different. No, the average person not gonna have a fragrance that smells like this in their in their um, collection. So they're not gonna smell like you. Boozy man, tobacco. Booze and tobacco. It's so different, bro. I love this. I can rock the hell out of this thing. That booze, man. I can't get over that booze and that tobacco. The way it smells. But it smells like... It smells like a man. Like dirty. Like, oh, let's go. The average person ain't gonna like this. You gotta be willing to step out there. The leak, Ombre Noir. Love this thing, man. I'm glad I waited. You gotta have some balls to wear this thing, man. Gotta be willing to step out there, step out on, jump out on the limb. So let me break that. Let me let me run that back down to you. So first, I gave you Trasadi, scent of gold. Yeah, scent of gold is smelling a lot better now. A little bit powdery. Then I gave you. Donna, Shasadi Donna, Oof, man. Then I gave you Victor and Rolf's, Victor and Rolf's um, infrared spice bomb infrared. That, that is, yeah. Ooh, now it's starting to smell like that damn chewing gum, big red. Okay, then I gave you that perfect to me bottle that smells like a vacation. You picture yourself on the beach with a pina colada or you 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 on vacation with a pina colada something like that okay that was the bow la parfum or the parfum intense yep then i gave you last but not least the fragrance everybody was waiting on well a lot of people was waiting on and got their hands on it Ombre Noir by Lalique. Got this on the hand right here. Those are the five fragrances that I gave you. I want to thank you for coming by. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. It's your boy Sam Broom signing off. Peace. Go Cowboys. Boom, boom, back to doing another video.